Let's program a simple function to return the median of a list of data. The median of a list of data is essentially just the number in the middle, so it should be pretty straightforward. We'll begin by defining our function. Let's just call it median. The argument that will be passed into our function is just a list of data. We'll put in a list of data, we'll get a median out, so let's call that input just data. Now, the median of a list of data is like the number in the middle. There's a little bit of details we need to work out there. However, it's only the thing in the middle if the list has been sorted. So the first thing our function should probably do is sort the data. Thankfully, there's an easy method for that. We'll just type data.sort, and the sort method is just going to make this list all in order from least to greatest. Another thing that will be important for our function is the length of the list of data. If the length is odd, then this process will be really simple. If the length is even, then it's slightly trickier. So let's just go ahead and name the length of the data. We'll call it big N. That way, every time we want to use it, we don't have to type out length of data. Now, if the length is odd, like I said, the process is pretty straightforward. So let's begin with that case. So we'll type if the length of our data, which we called n, is odd. How do we capture that condition that n is odd? Well, for a number to be odd means that when you divide it by 2, there is a remainder of 1. So we need the modulus operator. If n mod 2, n percent 2, equals 1, that's what it means for n to be odd. So that's how we capture that condition. For n to be even would mean that n mod 2 is 0. But we're looking at the odd case now. So if n mod 2 is 1, then what do we do? It's a little bit tempting to write that our function should just return the thing that's halfway through the list. So we might just write return data and return the thing at position n over 2. That'll be the thing that's in the middle of the list. It's not quite that simple though because we're at the case where n is odd. So for example, maybe n is 3. There's three things in our list of data. In that case, n over 2 is 1 and a half and there's nothing in the one and a half position of our list. We need this index to be an integer. One way we can make it an integer is by using the double slash divides. This is going to divide and round down. So three double slash two would equal one. Now this might not seem like exactly what we want, this dividing by two and rounding down. For example, in a list of length five, we could divide five by two and round down. That gives us two. But in a list of length five, it's not the second thing that's in the middle. It's the third thing. However, this does actually work perfectly because the indices in lists in Python start at zero. So when we get that index of two in the case of a list of length five, that's actually referring to the third thing in the list. So our function works perfectly as is for lists of odd length. I've defined a simple list of data containing three things just to test out our function at this step. So let's type print median of data. Let's see if our function works. And we see that we get an output of two. Perfect. We could go back to this list if we want just to try another example. Say the data contains one, two, three, four, and five. The median should be three. And that's exactly what we get. So all that remains now is to deal with the case of a list of even length. We don't need to type a conditional statement checking if n is even because we already checked if it's odd. So if it's not odd, it has to be even. So we can just write else here to take care of the even case. Now, if the length of our list of data is even, how does the median work? For example, maybe our data is one, two, three, four, and so there are four numbers in the list. The way we calculate the median is to take those two numbers in the middle, in this case that would be two and three, and then just calculate the average of them, so two plus three divided by two. So the primary thing we have to worry about here is finding those two numbers that are in the middle of our list of even length. Returning to our list of length 4, for example, let's consider the indices of the entries in this list. We're looking for these two numbers in the middle. The index of the first one would be 0, 1, right? This is the first guy we want. Its index is 1. 
and the index of the second one we want is 0, 1, 2. Okay, so all we have to do is take the length, 4, and divide it by 2. That's going to get us this guy. And then subtract 1 from that to get the other guy. So there's two guys we're looking for here. Let's just call them A and B. The first one can be found by looking at our list of data. And we're going to want to take the length, N, and divide it by 2 and subtract 1. So divide by 2, subtract 1. Notice I'm using the double slash divides here, even though n is even. The reason we have to do this is that if I want to specify the position of something in a list, I can't use a floating point number. I have to use an integer. And if we use single slash divides, even though we wouldn't need a decimal, 4 divided by 2 is just 2, using a single slash divides will make it a floating point number. So we use the double slash divides here, not to round it down, but to keep it as an integer. So that's the first number we want. The other guy, we'll call it B, and we find that by just looking at our list and going to position N divided by 2. These are the two numbers in the middle, and the median is just the average of these two numbers. So A plus B, and then divide by 2. Here we use a single slash divides because I want to allow for floating point numbers. Perhaps the median is 2.5, for example. That's fine. Let's come back to our example data list and put some stuff in here just to test out our program. Let's put an even number of entries in to test out the part we just wrote. Maybe the list contains 0, 1, 2, and 3. We can see the median in that case is 1.5, which is correct. The two numbers in the middle are 1 and 2, and their average is 1.5, so this is correct. Of course, if we add in another number, so now our data has an odd length, our function works for that too. Accurately tells us that the median is 2. Remember, our function sorts the list, so the list could also be out of order. Maybe we have negative 10, and then negative 4, and then 6, and it will still accurately report the median because our function does the sorting for us. In this case, the median is again 1.5. As a quick statistical note, the median is a measure of the average that we say is very resistant to outliers because some extreme outliers in a list of data will not affect the median very much. For example, we could add 10,000 to this list, which is a very extreme number relative to the others. And if we calculate what the median is now, it's two. It was one and a half before the outlier. We add the outlier in and now it's two. Not a very big change. Whereas the mean, another measure of the average, is not resistant to outliers at all. So just a little bit of interesting statistics. So that's how to write a simple median function in Python. I'll leave links in the description to lessons where we go over the mean and the mode as well. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.